Imagine being part of a university campus that is thriving with people and biodiversity. This eco-campus is an essential part of your highest academic and philosophical aspirations. The eco-campus sustains students, faculty, plants and animals living together in an exquisite co-creation of balanced living systems. When you walk through the many biozones of the campus, the flow state and circularity reveals reassuring confidence that comes from being part of natural systems in balance. Polarizing forces of the past meticulous manicured landscapes and human-centered architecture is transformed into this jaw-dropping campus. This EcoVision campus you're experiencing is what we are planning within the 2020 class of landscape architecture, urban design and architecture at Delft University. We're not there yet, so let us show you how we intend to make this transformation. Delft University started in 1842 as a Royal Academy of Education for Civil Engineers. 22 years later, the Academy became the Polytechnic School of Delft. Today, the Delft University of Technology, also known as 2Delft, is a prestigious international polytechnic university with eight faculties offering 16 bachelors and more than 30 masters programs. More than 25,000 students and 6,000 employees share a fascination for science, design and technology, focusing on a joint mission, impact for a better society. Our approach for this EcoVision campus project borrows from the Dutch tradition of working in a multidisciplinary way. Together, our class is an international mix of students working in groups to create integrated solutions for the built environment. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 virus pandemic hit at the start of our project. The menacing coronavirus outbreak catapulted our group collaboration into chaos, forcing us to work from 30 different bedrooms, kitchens, living rooms and other workspaces in various countries around the world while in quarantine. We had to find novel solutions and a renewed commitment to defying the viral disruption. Utilising next generation technology to drive our project productivity and overcome the pandemic challenges, we launched online video conference calls and virtual reality meetings. A virtual campus gave us easy digital upskilling access to lectures, meetings, presentations and group work. Initially, six groups created different EcoVision proposals for the campus. The six plans represent non-human and human perspectives, always with full respect to all the living organisms that are related to the campus. This multi-perspective research contributes to knowing and understanding the flora and the fauna that lives on the campus. Then the six groups presented their proposals in our virtual meeting space. Our six presentations and group discussions were all inclusive with our tutors, teachers and members from the water board. All the EcoVision presentations are bold and innovative designs inclusive of biodiversity and sustainable life. For example, the New Horizons plan from the Homonymous Group is a creation of a coherent and diverse biosystem of natural biotopes. Their vision plan develops on dynamic, horizontal and vertical layers within the human community as one integral element of the whole system of all living things. We then proceeded with an online voting frenzy. The EcoVision concept, the art of letting grow, from the Phoenix Group, triumphed. While the final eco-campus plan will centre on this proposal, the other concepts still have valuable insights. We will extract the essence of the other five group plans and integrate them into one Art of Letting Grow proposal. Our class formed new groups for this final planning. Each group focused on a different element of the eco-campus design. The Art of Letting Grow is not a fixed result. It is a dynamic process. It is about living and growing with nature so it's not only human-oriented design. The concept is to work with the living systems and go with the flow. We propose working in a bottom-up way, where we design with time and develop a campus with what is already there, what already exists. We're working on reducing pavement, adding compost layers, and enabling vegetation to go through different phases of succession over time. Letting these elements go will reduce the costs of campus maintenance and improve the overall health of our community. 
In combination, our ideas communicate a new campus vision that makes room for diversity and growth within the human and biological communities interacting and evolving. We hope to see you soon at our eco-campus.